The offending tweet was taken down earlier today, but Candy Sitabaka's response, hashtag solidarity yes, lives on with more than 5,000 responses, many similar to this one. Any person that could wish harm or incites others to cause harm that could possibly lead to death has absolutely no business serving in any public position, ever. She should apologize and resign. Fox 31 received numerous emails, including one from Eric T., who writes, I am a registered Democrat and wish this disgraceful statement to be brought to light in the Denver area. There's no room for this in our state, especially not from a public official. And our Facebook page has exploded with outrage. Cindy Kruger posts, I don't care what your feelings on Trump are. Personally, I absolutely cannot stand the man. But to wish anyone ill is disturbing and wrong, even in jest. In a statement, Sitabaka's staff says her tweet was in jest, writing, Councilwoman Sitabaka made a sarcastic tweet on Twitter to call attention to the Trump administration's downplaying of the coronavirus outbreak as a hoax, no more dangerous than the common flu. Rather than conservative outlets making a four-day-old tweet their focus on Super Tuesday, they should focus their energy on demanding a competent federal response to this public health crisis instead. The notion that it's sarcastic it just defies credibility. Political analyst Eric Sonderman says Councilman Sitabaka created her own blowback, but the tweet he says is hard to justify, no matter your politics. It is not something to be turned into a political weapon. And that's sort of what this tweet was, was trying to weaponize the coronavirus in political terms. Now, just in the last hour, the mayor's office tells me it has received more than 100 calls and 50 emails for the day from people upset about the tweet. And a spokeswoman for the city council tells me she's received hundreds of phone calls and hundreds of emails, most demanding Sitabaka's resignation. The mayor himself has no intention of commenting on the councilwoman's tweet, but for those hoping she resigns, her chief of staff tells me absolutely not. Rob Lowe, Fox 31.